All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, um, so today's video is going to be something very different. Um, I feel actually very, very, very uncomfortable doing it, but it was a requested video. Have you guys asked me um, in a direct message if I could do like a like a luxury accessories video or just like a luxury collection in general. Um, I personally don't own many bags or anything like that. Like my one nice bag is my messenger bag and you guys have seen me do a what's in my bag on that. Um, my boyfriend is very into designer things. Like <laughs> there's like a Hermes section over there. Um, so he's way more into it than I am. I personally don't find that clothes are worth that much to spend money on. I rather spend my money on bags and like jewelry and things like that. So I don't have too many designer clothing items to show you guys. Whoa. So the one thing that I do tend to go a little crazy on is sunglasses. So that was really the only thing I could do is a sunglasses collection. Um, I am not the type of person who memorizes like where I got them, prices, or the names of things. So I'm sorry, a lot of these things I will do my best to find online if I can. Some of them are very old, so I don't know if I'll be able to, um, but some of them I do know the names of and the prices and whatnot because they're like from my favorite brand. So let's just go down the line. I will start at the most affordable moving upwards. Um, the most affordable pair of sunglasses that I own are my Ray-Ban Aviators. These were a birthday gift, actually. They are the metallic mirror finish aviators. Um, I've had these for years, of course, because the case is already breaking and whatnot. And these I just absolutely love. So they have a mirrored finish, no one can see what you're looking at, so you can people watch all day. I love them. So yeah, that is what they look like. And they're scratched in here because I've dropped them many times. I believe these retail for around 150 if I remember correctly. The Aviators are generally Ray-Ban's like standard pair, or the Club Masters are their like standard. The Wayfarer are their standard like pair, which are around like 100, I think. But these are around 150 because they are metal. Um, and yeah, I've had them forever and I love them. The next pair that I have is another one from Ray-Ban. This was around $200 if I remember correctly. Um, these ones I do not wear that often because I didn't know how uncomfortable they would be and they did not have different sizes. So these are the Club Masters in the metallic um, gunmetal finish. And they also have a slight mirrored finish so you can't really see them but they're not quite entirely mirrored. Um, and yeah, so these give me a terrible headache so I can't wear them often. Yeah, these give me a terrible headache, so I don't really wear them often because they are too small for my head, but they are a really cool style, and I can wear them for just a few hours if I'm going to something like specific and it matches with the look. And it comes in this really cool carbon fiber black case. It's not actually carbon fiber, but it's just like the print. All right, then moving upwards from that, we have a pair of Prada, actually two pairs of Prada. These are more like, these are what I call my matrix glasses because every time I wear them, people are like, Oh, you look like Keanu Reeves. Like, I see it. I get it. I kind of, I, I understand. So these are very thin framed Prada glasses. They have the logo right here on the side. It's very tiny. It's very tiny, very subtle. These are definitely very low key glasses. And these also, similarly to the Ray-Bans, I believe were around $200 if I remember correctly. The next pair is definitely one of my favorite pair of glasses that I own. And this is my Prada Aviators. And these I love because they're just giant. They are great hangover glasses. Um, and they just cover your face and you're like, bitch, not in my zone. Um, so I love these. These ones are definitely more sporty and a little more ostentatious with the red logo right here on the side. But again, the frames are very large. They do cover my brows entirely, but I really like the way they frame my face. These, if I remember correctly, I'm fairly certain were around 250. No, these are plasticky. They may have been less. I'm not sure. These ones I don't remember because these are really old. All right, the next pair or the next two pairs are from Cartier. Now, these are not cheap. Um, Cartier, as I'm sure you guys know, they're the love bracelets and like all the other brand, like they're they're thousands of dollars. So Cartier is definitely not a brand that I recommend to everybody. It's something that you definitely want to invest in and save up for. And yeah, so these are the, I don't know what these are called. Damn, what are these? Uh, they don't, I don't have the model number or anything. These are a frameless plastic blue finish lens with the C cut out here. 
and then right in the corners on each side, the Cartier logo. Cartier logo is right here on the glass. It's very hard to see. And then on the inside, and then on the inside, it has the C shape as well. These I want to say, oh God. I want to say these were close to $600. Um, Cartier, again, very expensive brand. And these, unfortunately, I don't wear often. Um, but yeah, they are still really nice and I like looking at them. The second and final pair that I own from Cartier is this one right here. They're very casual. They're in a very similar shape to the Ray-Ban Wayfair, but they don't have that little, like, up thing on the side. Um, these ones I absolutely love. They have the little Cartier screws right here in the very front, and then they have the logo, and then they have the Cartier logo on the side with the screws. These I really like because they're very simple, and you wouldn't really know that they're Cartier unless you were looking for it and you knew the actual model. So these ones are not very flashy, and I really like that because I can wear them pretty much day to day, and I won't get too many questions about them, or someone won't be like, Really. Alright, and I saved my final two pairs for last um, because these are the two that are very obnoxious. They're very ostentatious, but I mean, it's Louis Vuitton. Louis, Louis Vuitton always is... you get it. You're not buying it to be quiet. I, I mean, let's be honest, no one buys Louis Vuitton in the intention that no one will notice what it is. I mean, you worked hard for it, you saved it for it, you want it, you want to show off what you worked hard for. So. That's my mentality on designer things. I don't really give people grief for what, when I see them buying it because I know you're not, unless you're the type of person who just on a whim is like, oh, I'm gonna drop five grand here and then five grand there, then you're just fucking dumb. But if you are the type of person like me who saves up for things and you really look forward to a specific item, then I don't see any problem with it. So that is why I bought these two pairs of Louis Vuitton glasses. They're very... They're loud, so let's just get into it. I'm gonna start with the more muted, toned down pair. Um, Louis Vuitton is known for their cases. They're very nice leather with the velvet satin lining inside. Very sturdy, like you could throw this at a wall, nothing's gonna happen to it. And they better not because these are $600. These are the Louis Vuitton, um, oh my God, I just forgot the name of them as I was talking to you about them. I will link it down below, but these I absolutely love. They have bendy sides, so they do not give me a headache, and I love them. I think they frame my face very nicely. They're more of a square shape, which is a little unusual for glasses. They're usually more of a rounded perimeter, but these are definitely more squared off. Right on the front, they have the gold damier print right on the little nose bridge. And then also on the sides, they have the gold damier with the Louis Vuitton logo on the side. And then right in the corner of the glasses is the Louis Vuitton monogram logo etched into the glass. There comes in around five different colors. There is a silver, a dark charcoal, and then gold. And I, I think there may be a black too. I'm not entirely sure, but I definitely wanted these because you couldn't really see the damier in any of the other colors or it was too pronounced, like in the silver it was like clearly Louis Vuitton. Um, whereas these are <laughs> a little bit less obvious. Um, you do have to be reading the side to know they're Louis Vuitton if you don't recognize the Damier prints. Um, it's not like my next ones where it's just like... Um, these ones are definitely more every day. And again, these were around $5.95 if I remember correctly, or they may have even been sick something, but these were... Definitely more up there because of course they're Louis Vuitton and they're very very high quality. Also, actually disclaimer, I want to mention Prada, Gucci, um, and a couple other brands do not actually make their glasses. They are created by Lexotica, which is a glassware company, and they are just designed by these companies and then put out by them. So that's something to keep, Chanel as well, that's something to keep in mind if you're looking into investing in designer brands. If you see like a $800 pair of Prada glasses, you probably would be better investing that into a pair of Louis Vuittons because Prada is not actually making those, so the money is not entirely going to Prada. And there may have been some corners cut, whereas in like a Prada bag, you know they're going all out for quality in that, whereas Lexotica, they're just making it so that it looks like Prada, it's good quality, but not necessarily the best, best, best. Like for example, this material, this plastic, is just so different from the Cartier. And Cartier does make their own glasses and it's 
very different from the Louis Vuitton as well. Um, whereas this and the other Prada are a little similar, and I have a pair of Gucci's as well that I can't find right now. They're very flimsy, not flimsy, but it's that same like, you hear it, right? Um, so that's just something to keep in mind if you guys are planning on purchasing designer glasses. And finally, this pair you may have recognized because it became very iconic in the mid-2000s, and these are the Louis Vuitton Avedons. You see rappers wearing these, you see Spencer Pratt wearing them, like celebrities wear these all the time, and that was kind of what inspired me to get them. They come in a little bit of a larger case than the other one, same thing with the Louis Vuitton logo. Very sturdy. And these are definitely the loudest pair but I love these. They are gold on the top and then on the sides, on the wings as well, and then just very large frames with a faded gradient lens. So these ones are definitely the most ostentatious. They have this gold cut out right here, and then on the actual rim itself, there is the Louis Vuitton logo etched into, I don't know if it's picking this up, the Louis Vuitton logo is etched into the glasses right there, and then on the side arms, it says Louis Vuitton, etched into the gold. So these are definitely the most expensive pair. These are around $800. I know. Um, but they're amazing and they go... They go with everything. There's literally not a single outfit that these don't go with. I mean, you probably don't want to wear them to church, but like, you know what I mean, or a, a funeral. Like, don't... You, that's common sense. There are certain places where to wear certain glasses and not. So these are basically okay for any occasion where you're going out or just going to the beach, going for a drive, anything like that. If you're in a more serious setting, you probably don't want to wear these, but they are super cool. They go with lots of different outfits and they're pretty baller. I mean, I hate saying that, but they are. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, again, I was very not comfortable doing this, but um, as I mentioned in my video, I do save up for a lot of things, and it's not just like I'm just spending money right and left. And you guys know, I've talked about this before, living in Connecticut, rent is a bitch. So you really can't be buying things like this all the time. So a lot of these purchases, actually none of these purchases have been made since I started my YouTube channel. They've all been prior to that when I was not paying this rent. Um, so that's also a little disclaimer, I'm not just like psychotic. So my money goes to makeup if I'm buying something that's not a necessity. So that concludes this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Again, beware when you're doing your buying process. Prada, Chanel, Gucci, and like just go to Lexotica and like look up what brands they make. It might not be worth spending over $300 on a pair like that if the design isn't just something so super cool. If it's limited edition and it's never going to come back, then I'd say it's a little more worth it. But like these, I do kind of regret spending $250 on them because they may have gone on sale later on. Um, but I do love them and they're my favorite pair of like casual aviators now to wear. But looking back, I think this money would have been better spent on maybe saving it and then combining it with another savings and getting like another color of this. So it's really what you guys feel is most important for your collection and where you think your money is best spent. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any other videos like this you want me to do, again, as I said in the beginning though, I don't own like a like tons and tons of designer things. So it would be more just like a regular collection of things. Please don't ask for a clothes collection. All I do is go to Hyatt to work. So all I own are dress shirts and suits. I don't really own any casual clothes and all of these are like from high school. I haven't gone like regular clothes shopping in at least four years. It's so sad. But um, my life the past three years has been corporate and just suits, suits, suits. So. I don't really see the purpose of buying new clothes right now. But if you guys do want me to do a haul or anything like that, um, let me know in the comment bar down below. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it or just do it anyway because I don't get that many likes. So I'm not ashamed to say that. Guys, give my video likes because it helps. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Um, if you guys did not already see my collab with Jonathan and Laura, don't forget to watch those. They were a lot of fun. And please, guys, watch Jonathan's Q&A. It was so touching, so emotional. I love him. You guys, we have becoming, been getting so much closer lately, like Snapchatting on the reg. We basically were Snapchatting for like four hours the other day. So yeah, I love him. The video was awesome. So please, please go watch that and support him and subscribe to his channel and Laura's if you are not already. And my friend SJ, she is doing a giveaway right now. So go check that out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, bye guys.